and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're taking a look at the new All the Clouds stamp set and coordinating dies. This stamp set of course has all the clouds. There are five different sizes of clouds and they can be left or right oriented. There's two different rainbows, two moons, and two sunshines. There's also lots of little smiley faces that are sized in different sizes so we can add those to the images if we like. There's also some fun and uplifting sentiments for everyday cards. You can put sending sunshine or sending smiles, sending sunshine and smiles, sending sunshine your way to brighten your day or sending smiles your way to brighten your day. Lots of choices. The first card I'm gonna to make today, I am gonna create a custom background for my card and my images. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of mermaid cardstock with a stitched rectangle die and I'm stamping with merman ink for a tone on tone look to this pattern paper. I'm starting with the largest cloud and then I'm gonna work my way down in size, stamping it around and filling in places on this background. I'm flipping the, the clouds, making sure I use both orientations cause some go to the left and some go to the right. And then I can go in and fill some of those big spaces with the bigger clouds. So I'm just going back and forth between the sizes and filling in as I can. Once I get it filled in pretty well with those clouds, I'm actually gonna add some other elements. I'm gonna use the Unicorn Picnic stamp set that has those little sparkle stars. And I'm gonna fill in some of these spaces with that stamp. I'm using the one that has three, and then I'm going to use the one that's slightly bigger. I'm also using the little moon and the little sun in the All the Clouds stamp set to stamp inside some of the clouds, which I think is kind of a cool look. There's also a teeny tiny heart in the Unicorn Picnic stamp set, and I'm filling in with that as well. So I'm going to add that moon to the inside of some of those clouds and then I'm also going to do the same thing with the tiny little sun that's in this set. And it just fills in those larger clouds a little bit to make that background feel nice and full. I've already stamped out and colored some of my images that I'm going to use and I'm just adding some smiley faces to the clouds and the sunshine. I also thought it would be a fun addition to add some of these little smiley faces to the background as well. So I've just pulled out that merman ink again. And I'm adding some of those little smiles to the clouds that I stamped earlier. Now I'm going to assemble my little images here. So I'm putting a little bit of liquid glue on the bottom of the rainbow. And I'm just going to line up the little clouds that I stamped. I'm going to basically make this one piece that I can just add to the background here in a little bit. Then I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the bottom of the sunshine and he's going to tuck behind that rainbow at the top. That's why I stamped the sunglasses smiley face on him a little bit high so that it'll be nice and centered when I tuck him behind the rainbow. And then I'm just going to lay this on here and line it up where I want it to be just as a placeholder so that I can go ahead and stamp my sentiment. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment, Sending Sunshine. I've already placed that on a block in the configuration that I want it. And I'm staggering those words so they kind of go from left to right as they go down the page. And I just think this has a fun dynamic look, especially with the different font styles. So I'm just stamping that in some black licorice ink. And then I'm going to put some foam tape on the back of this panel, and I'm going to put that on a white card base. Next, I'm going to add some foam squares to the back of that sunshine with the rainbow that I put together earlier. And then I can just put this as one piece right onto the background. Finally, to finish it off, I'm going to go in with my glitter pen and just add some shimmer to these images. So I'm going all over that rainbow. I'm going to go just on the tops of the clouds, and I also went around the rays of the sun. So you can kind of see that glitter there a little bit when it catches the light. And then this card is all finished. I just love the look of those clouds creating a pattern paper in the background. 
For my next card, I'm going to be adding the clouds to a scene. These clouds are perfect to use with all your critter scenes and all your outdoor scenes because you have a lot of sizes to choose from. So no more going to find the perfect cloud in all the sets. You can just go to one place. So I have a piece of white cardstock cut with a stitch rectangle. I've cut a little base made out of some paper bag cardstock and this is going to be sand or my ground. And then I'm using my ocean wave stencil to make a wave that's going to go behind the sand. So I've just taped that to the back of this piece of cardstock and I'm just adding peacock feathers ink. So you can see how that wave is just going to peek up above that sandbar at the bottom. And then once I have that the way I want it, I can pull up that stencil and I have this lovely wave in the background. Now I'm going to use that stencil and shift it down and use it as a mask to keep my wave covered up while I ink blend the sky. And I'm going to be using three colors of Distress Ink to make a sunset sky. So I'm starting out with some scattered straw towards the bottom. And you can see how that mask is going to keep the wave from blending in with my sky. Then I'm going to go in with some dried marigold through the center. And then finally I'm going to use some worn lipstick at the top. And I actually changed to a bigger brush because it was taking me a little while to get that ink under the background. So I'm just changing to a larger brush so I can cover more surface area all at once. And then I'm just going to go back and forth between the colors and make sure they're nice and blended together. So now I'm going to stamp this sentiment onto this sky and I've already put it on the block and it says sending sunshine to brighten your day. And I'm just going to stamp that in some black ink right in the center onto this lovely sunset sky that I created. And then I've got a piece of typing paper that I've just cut in a rectangle that's about the size that's going to cover up those words. And I'm just going to hold it in place with a little piece of washi tape. And that's just to keep the white splatter that I'm about to do from getting on my nice bold sentiment. So since I'm splattering, you're not going to really see the rectangle shape, but it's just going to keep those splatters from getting onto the black. So I've just put some white watercolor on a block here and I'm just kind of flicking it off the edge to get tiny little splatters. And then I just flicked my paintbrush with my finger to get the bigger splatters. So now I can remove that piece of paper that was protecting the sentiment and I can remove that stencil at the bottom. Now I can go ahead and add the sand that goes at the bottom. Now I'm going to add some foam tape to the back and I'm going to add this to a white card base. I actually am going to do a little bit of stamping on this background which I should have done before I put it on the card base since I mounted it with foam but I just wasn't thinking that far ahead so if you want to do any more stamping like I'm about to do here do that before you put it on the card base. So I'm using some abandoned coral distress oxide which is a darker red color. It's going to stand out just slightly on that background that I created and I'm just stamping some of these clouds kind of tucked in behind the die cut clouds just to add a little more depth. I have the little ship from Ahoy Métis and I've colored that and I'm going to put that in my wave back there and then I'm going to start adding foam squares to the backs of these clouds in the sun and just put them in the place that I had them. I really love that there's a lot of different clouds and different sizes and different orientations in this set. It gives you a lot more variety to add to your cards and your scenes. And then finally I'm going to go in with a little bit of glitter stickles and I'm just tracing the line of that wave just to add some shimmer to that horizon. And then finally I'm going to finish this card off with a little bit of twine. This is the new unicorn tail twine and I've just wrapped that around the bottom and I'm just going to tie it in a bow. 
So this is a rainbow variegated twine with some sparkle incorporated in it as well. And it's very pretty and very bright. I happen to end up with all blues and greens on this piece, but I think that works really well with the colors of my card. And then I'm just gonna put a tiny glue dot underneath that bow to hold it in place. And then here is that finished card. Now let's take a look at some examples by the design team. Elena made this really amazing background using the elements from this set. It looks like pattern paper that you would buy in a paper pack. And then Audrey created this amazing rainbow watercolor background for her little son and rainbow to sit on. Elise made an awesome flippin' awesome card, and it goes from a night sky on the first panel all the way through to a sunny sky with a rainbow at the end. It goes perfect with the sentiment in this set. Lynette's card is so cute with all of those clouds smiling back at us, and I love that sunshiny background. And then Grace made a cool slimline card where she stenciled the background, also used the starry sky stencil, and it just goes perfect with those clouds. Letitia's slimline card has a stenciled background, and I love all her pastel rainbows that she added. Mindy has a really cool ink blended background, and it really makes all those clouds pop. Yainea used those clouds to finish off her cute little car critter scene. They look like they're going on a really fun road trip. Megan used the clouds in the sun to help fill in her beautiful scene on this fun slimline card. And then Tammy used those clouds to fill in behind her fairy tale castle. I just love that cute little dragon. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.